Hello, this is Scott from telecoms.com here at Qualcomm's HQ in sunny San Diego. And I'm talking to Dino Flore. Um, you're the head of product of technology EMEA for Qualcomm. Nice to meet you. And uh, so if we can sort of take it down to sort of your day job, so you know, representing the, the product technology side of Qualcomm in, in EMEA, are there any perspectives you can give us specifically of, let's say, Europe? and how um, 5G is sort of progressing there? Europe is progressing fairly well. Maybe a few months ago, Europe was not in the map as the one of the leading uh, countries for 5G, but actually things have changed. Okay. Uh, from, and there's been now more and more operators came forward and they're making plans to launch already next year. So that's the good news. So I don't think Europe, uh, Europe will be in the, in the first uh, in the first wave of yeah. 5G deployments, like Korea, like uh, US, like Japan. And this is a good news, I like China, of course. And this is a good news because, again, uh, it will be great to reinvent society based on this new platform we are doing. And I think it's important also for Europe to be in the leading edge uh, of, the, of the technology. So that's, uh, so that's, uh, this is what is gonna happen. So the, there are multiple operators line up in the main, in the main countries, all the main countries are going to start to yep. roll out 5G networks in 2019. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's great. So an another thing I've got from some of the conversations I've had while I've been here is um, how much more sort of diverse Qualcomm's offering seems to be. You know, I've been writing about Qualcomm for 10 plus years. I think it's the first Snapdragon that I used to report on. But now you're talking about getting involved in lots of other product areas and that sort of thing. Is that quite a sort of deliberate thing with Qualcomm to sort of diversify and get involved in, in different industries? Yeah, of course. And with the, the IoT revolution, this is all even more the case. So Qualcomm has been expanding the product uh, portfolio. So from the start, of course, we start from the connectivity angle, but of course, then we added the compute security uh, capabilities, sensors capabilities, and uh, even in the connectivity space, we have been done so many advancements on the RF front end space. So we are really growing, and uh, with the IoT, with this integration of these capabilities to connect devices, it will be even more important to have an a company that uh, gets the integration of all, all of this so and uh, the implementation of, of all of this so that's uh, that will be very key and i think we have a, a strength position there so that's uh, right. a strength of our company to be yeah. all around having all these capabilities in hands yeah and i think uh, you know on the, on the modem side which is what i've always thought of as the core business of qualcomm I, you guys are sort of shouting from the rooftops already a fair bit about 5g so do you do you anticipate that you will you'll have a fair bit of sort of leadership on that side? I think so. I think, uh, of course, we will see uh, what competitors will come up with, but as far as I understand, we will be really a leading company in the 5G, especially because 5G will come in different flavors. We'll come with the flavors for uh, the low bands, the mid bands, the high bands, yeah. and we have a very competitive solution, the ones we are having next year, from the beginning of next year, in phones next year, covering all, and covering in an optimized way. And I think we figured out, especially for the high bands, which is the novelty here, and yeah, they needed the some, wave. the millimeter yeah. wave bands, they needed some special design. And I think we spend a lot of time in R&D effort to try to figure out all the problems that are you need to cope with uh, to avoid this blocking issue, all these issues that there yeah. can be in these bands. And I think we will be ready to have a very competitive offering. I'm not sure the competitors will be there. Okay, well, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.